you haven't had crab cakes till you had this recipe and trust me this is going to be the best recipe on how to make crab cakes ever what's up youtube and welcome back to another episode of that savage kitchen where i teach you how to cook like a savage and today we're going to be making some of these bro some crab cakes if you ever had crab cakes you know that they're one of the easiest one of the best appetizers you can get at a seafood restaurant and if you're not getting them at a seafood restaurant then what are you doing like why 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 for real but i'm gonna teach you how to make the best crab cakes and i'm gonna show you how you can make some better and cheaper crab cakes than restaurants. Cause you know, when you go to the restaurants, they just be taxing bro. And what I mean by taxing is the prices be way too high. Hey, it's yeah. so unnecessary. And it's filled with nothing but filler. So we ain't gonna do none of that today. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make the best crab cakes with no filler and just a good restaurant style crab cake. So if you're ready for that, let's get started. Yeah. Every good crab cake starts with a good piece of crab. So on the right, I got a $15 combined. One was 10, one was five. On the left, I got Dungeon's crab for $13. Now I'm gonna show you if it's a better investment to buy canned crab like this or just get the fresh crab. So I took a little bite, your boy was hungry. So I cut these claws off and I just started dissecting the crab. So we're gonna see how much this weighs because I feel like it's not gonna be enough. After I de-shelled my crab, this is what I got. A little bit of crab meat for a lot of shells, but you can use these shells to make a pasta dish, but not in today's video. We ain't making that. So I'll say it's a better investment to get the package stuff like this. First, we're gonna start off by adding a pound worth of crab meat. This includes the lumps and the claws. First, we're gonna start off by making our crab cake mixture. So get half a cup of some mayonnaise. Come on, dude. Water my Man, I was a little too aggressive with that mayonnaise, but first we're gonna start off with one teaspoon of salt and black pepper. Then I added one tablespoon of chili flakes cause your boy like that spice. Then one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Then one and one four teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Add one large whole egg. Then we're gonna add half a lemon and squeeze that joint. Next, we're gonna use the other half and we're gonna zest that. Then I took three tablespoons of some red onions for some color, followed by some parsley because we need some of that green in there. Make sure you have green in your food. It just makes everything better. So we're just gonna add a little bit of that just for more color. Then I took three cloves of garlic and I chopped that up and we're just gonna add that into our mixture. You feel me? Now whisk it up with the flick of that wrist. Look at the flick of that wrist. Look at the flick of that wrist. And it should look like a mayo ranch type of thing, just like this. So all we gotta do is we gonna add some of our crab in there. So add that pound of crab that you made earlier and we just gonna fold it. Do not break it up into little pieces. We want those big full chunks, you feel me? After we mix everything up, we're gonna add three fourths of some panko breadcrumbs. Spread that all over and after that, just start folding it in there. Fold it with the crab, be gentle with the crab, you feel me? We don't want any broken pieces, we want those big chunks. So after that, that is how you make crab cakes. You're done, bro. So pour it on a plate, get you a little spoon. And yo, it's so easy to make and it's so delicious, bro. Get you some of that. I know y'all like, bro, that is not how you make crab cakes. It was just a joke. Also, I did not eat that raw egg, so don't be tripping. But I was just playing. It wasn't funny at all, though. So now we're gonna saran wrap it up and put it in our fridge for at least 30 minutes because we want it to get firm when we start forming these crab cake like balls you feel me while that is chilling we are going to start off with a remoulade sauce it's like tartar sauce but i think it's better so first i started off with a cup and a half of some mayonnaise then i added one fourth cup of some dijon mustard so i started off by adding half a teaspoon of some paprika some garlic powder onion powder salt and black pepper one teaspoon of some hot sauce and you already know it gotta be louisiana yes, yes sir. sir now start whisking it up with a spatula until it looks like a chipotle mayonnaise sauce next we're gonna grab us a little parsley and we're gonna add this to our remoulade just to give it some more color you feel me we all about that color add that to your sauce and we're gonna add half a lemon to our sauce too mince up some garlic very finely and we're gonna add one pickle and we're gonna mince that up too add all of this into your sauce also this is going to give it that good acidic flavor and that garlic is going to give it that garlicky flavor after the 30 minutes is up it's time to make some crab cakes my guys so i took a little ball of some crab meat and i just formed them all into balls i didn't measure it out 
so some are uneven but i don't have a problem with that so after that we're gonna put them on our sheet tray and we're gonna move on to the stove so get you a little bit of some olive oil and i'll also add some butter wait till it starts bubbling and add your crab cakes five minutes per side or until golden brown and there you go look at that bro that looks straight delicious right there so get you your plate start playing it up stack it up like tetris stack it like tetris and be a little fancy if you want to i added some of my remoulade sauce and i did this add a little design put a little lemon on top with some parsley and just decorate your plate bro this is some food network quality stuff so there you go that is how you make the best crab cakes restaurant style crab cakes ever trust me and you already know how to put on the instagram if you're not following me on instagram what are you doing follow the kid so there you go get you some of that crab cake look at that that is top tier crab cake and look how flaky it is all of it is mostly crab it's not that filler crab that you get at the restaurant so i added some of my remoulade on top and yo this was probably the best crab cakes i've ever had slash made so make sure y'all make this recipe and try it out for yourself and other than that i'm out